How can you get your audience so excited that they want to hear your speech from start to finish? You're about to discover in this video about your high impact speaking house. In the last two videos, you discovered about the importance of the opening words and the foundational phrase in your high impact opening. In this video, you'll discover the importance of the big promise. What's a big promise? It's one or two sentences that tells each audience member what they'll receive by listening to your speech. A common mistake I see when people make a big promise is that they couch it in terms of what they want to give to the audience. They'll say something like, in the next 45 minutes, I'm going to give you, or I want you to walk away with. Now, this sounds like a subtle nitpicky idea, but it's important. Don't couch it in what you want, because the audience doesn't care what you want. At a subconscious level, they're thinking, I don't care what you want, what are you giving me? Rather than say, I want you to have, or I'm going to give you this or that, say, what you're going to receive in the next 30 minutes, the next hour, is fill in the blank. What I term the fill in the blank portion is a lot more important than just filling in some words. This is the part of the big promise where we have to let the audience know specifics about what they're going to get. Here are three quick examples of big promises that are structured correctly to excite the audience so they know they're going to walk away with a tangible benefit. The first is one that I often use in my storytelling workshops. You're about to pick up the tools to create stories that grab hearts and minds and make your message meaningful and memorable. It's you focused, I'm focused on the audience, they're going to pick up tools. Tools is a tangible benefit that will enable you to create stories with a specific benefit. Tapping into people's hearts, their minds, their emotions, and making that message meaningful and memorable. It is a presentation that people are going to remember long after they hear it. Here's the second big promise. You'll transform your speeches into powerful calls to action that resonate and inspire every audience. Talking about transforming a speech from something that's forgettable into a message that is so powerful that people will take action on it and be inspired by it after you speak. The third is one that I used to use when I was a financial advisor. In our workshops, we would tell people, you'll be able to take control of your money and unlock the path to financial freedom and success. Notice it's you focused again. It's an action. People can take control of their money and there's a benefit to it. Unlock financial freedom and success, which is what many people want. You'll notice in each of these, we're not overly specific. In Big Promise 3, for example, we talk about financial freedom and success. The reason we don't want to get overly specific is because every person has their own definition of financial freedom and success. It's a concept that's positive. It's an improvement over where they currently are. However, we don't want to get overly specific because if we do, we might push them out of our message. A quick example, if I say to them, we're going to make sure that you have $20,000 a month of income for the rest of your life when you retire. But what happens if that's five times more than somebody wants, or it's a tenth of what somebody wants? This is not the place to get overly specific, but make sure it is a positive benefit that most people strive for. That will help you make a meaningful and memorable big promise that keeps people on the edge of their seats leaning forward and wanting to hear your speech from start to finish. In the next video, you'll hear about the fourth and final component of your high impact speech opening.